Sam here. Isaac Ron. Ooh. Start out with the D8, which I'm going to go ahead and pop it. Oh, boy. The D8 comes in big and gives us some stats that we want. Our rank sucks, and then we start out with Cricket's Head. Man. So we're at nine damage in, in the first room. Um, that's something. The only problem is our range is really, really bad. But I, I can get range ups. I'm not worried about that in the slightest. So, hey, we'll take that. How's everybody doing? Been a little bit since I've done an Isaac run. Been very busy with Overwatch 2. But, you know, I, I am going to start sitting down once a week and record a bunch of Isaac runs just to upload throughout the week. Because I really did like uploading this channel. It, like, helped, you know, keep things fresh. Maybe enjoy stuff, right? not all the time that you get to do that and there's voodoo head oh man voodoo an early voodoo head is very good let's see if we can get any money from this get blind rage which i guess i'll take but oh man an early voodoo head with the stats looking like they are right now we're off to one heck of an eden run because range is range is a pretty easy stat to come by right i'm not really gonna re-roll want to re-roll anymore to be honest with you and we get a confessional which isn't really going to help us here unfortunately because we don't have any red heart containers we did start out with a bunch of soul hearts i'm gonna slide this baby down over here and we get a tears up right then and there as well as a shot speed up so you know now now we're in a really interesting situation because i, I think i am gonna have to blow this up it is absolutely absolutely worth blowing up our uh donation machine for voodoo head especially when you're on floor one i mean double the curse rooms that are all upgraded i mean the odds you get more angel deals or devil deals as well as guppy items curse room items you know if, if you're lucky you'll actually end up getting a double item pedestal curse room with voodoo head which is one of my favorite things now hopefully if there was ever a time to get a range up it would be now so we're gonna end up getting the pentagram and you know 11.96 damage <coughs> On the first floor is one way to start it off, man. So we are back, guys. Holy cow. So, I mean, again, you know, if I ever, like, have an enemy I want to keep my distance from, I can also use uh, Blue Baby's only friend. And it's be it's a better Ludovico technique because, you know, for example, if I don't want to get close to this guy, I can just stick this thing right on him and track it around. It's very easy to use. We do get a Lover's card, which won't be of use to us, but I definitely want to be on the lookout for our curse rooms here. So let's see what we can find as we're just kind of trucking and we get a range up pill You know, honestly our range is still in a pretty bad spot as we get both of our curse rooms in here actually Now our range is still at 4.36, but you know We'll take it man. A range up is a range up and we'll take any one of those that we can get I'm trying to Move around here get the stuff. Let's check out curse room one They actually just buffed dude who had in the patch and there's already one of three guppy guppy's collar to start us off and some soul hearts And I'm telling you man I always thought curse rooms were incredibly underrated, but uh, ever since they put Voodoo Head in the game, you know, I I've been big, big on the curse room. So let's see, two of the same pill. Perks. Perks, I mean, I guess it is more useful than a lover's card for us at the moment. So no key yet, unfortunately. Can't get our item room quite yet, but Voodoo Head, man, already paying off with Guppy's Collar. And oh, this could be an interesting run, man. We, uh... This is quite the start. I'm, I'm thinking about skipping my item room, to be honest. Oh, what do we have? High Priestess and the Magician. Magician could be useful, but... I'm honestly cruising for now. Oh, excuse me. Down he goes. A really big floor size. Now, I'm feeling the Planetarium luck right now. It's kind of, I'm kind of feeling it, Mr. Krabs. So we're gonna, we're gonna roll with it here. Can we get another tears up. Holy cow, dude! This is some crazy damage. Two, <laughs> excuse me. Two, oh we, excuse me, guys. And we get another dude. Might as well look at this, right? Oh no! Well, actually, I am gonna take this. I think I guaranteed him one life, and it's the new thing. I think I respawn here. I do. At half a heart. Okay. So, we get the new Athame, which I guess I have to take. It's just such a cool item. We are at a half a heart, so we are going to have to be careful here. What the new Athame is going to do is sometimes you kill an enemy, the Maw of the Void effect comes from the enemy you kill instead of you, which is so much better. As we do get a key, I am going to check out our shop and hope for a soul heart of some kind. Oh, boy. 
boy. Oh boy. Okay. Well, was there there wasn't a key for sale, was there? Oh, there was. Okay. Yeah, we'll take the key. We're gonna go check out our item room next. And oh boy, we are uh We're gonna be cutting this one close. You know, I'm tempted to use um D8, but it looks like our tiers are actually over the cap. So I, I don't want to mess with it. We get Dark Bomb! Big grab for us, guys. That is one lucky item room. We're going to get Dark Bum, which is going to be able to pick up these Soul Hearts, making our Thame play worth it. He's going to pick up Red Hearts for every one and a half hearts. He has a chance to spawn in a Soul Heart, a Black Heart, a Pill, or many other things. And there's actually a cluster of two here, which is going to be a double payout, as long as he doesn't spawn in an enemy spider. Wow. All right. All right, Dark Bum. Okay. All right, man. See how it is. I see how it is. I'm going to need a payout here. Oh my god, you just can't make it up. Yeah, you just, I I mean, unfortunately, post-nerf, that's what Dark Bum does. I, I, I did not see the purpose of nerfing Dark Bum, especially in that fashion. As we do find our first curse room. I won't be able to go in there, though, unfortunately. Look at the new Athane, man, doing the damage. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't like this room, but Athane, dude. Athane, I'm telling you guys. Very, very good item. And there we go. There's the payout. So we are now out of the danger zone. Thank God. Thank God. And our double deal play ends up paying out for us. And we can miss Dolly as well, which is going to be the range up and the tears up that we need to keep our range competitive. Now, our, our range is competitive now. It's at 5.73. Is looking to Thane do it for us. And finally, check out our curse room, should we choose to. And let's see if we can get any luck here, get another guppy item. No, but we do get some soul hearts, so that's fine by me. We're going to head on out now. And again, the, the big gets... We've been getting incredibly lucky this run with like some of the best stuff in the game. Is uh, Unfortunately, no chess, but we do get two black cards. So again, like the curse, it's guaranteed to give us something, right? It's guaranteed to give us something. And in this case, we got our health pack as the theme now. Honestly, is borderline quality four. I, I I cannot believe how much they buffed the theme as we are going to get the sack room here. And I hey listen, I'm all for it, man. I thought a theme was garbage. You know, I, I'm very happy to see, you know, items that were just like I, I got to the point where it's like, okay, why is this even in the game? You know, it's just kind of bad. I just don't want to see items like that in the game at all, really. Unless it's, you know, especially for the devil pool, too. It's like those items. They're all meant to be good. Like, you know, if your devil items all suck, those are the kind of items that should dominate the game, right? And let's see, like, the theme would here would be big because I can just run them right into it. I've not found our item room or our shop, so I do want to... What pill was this? No, okay, I couldn't see that. Uh, I do, do want to get down there and check out my shop if I can find it. I do have enough for a premium item, should it be good. I don't care too much for my item room here. Champion belt. I'll tell you what, you know what? I actually am going to use... I'm going to take low an hourglass here. I don't have a need for an active item, and it's been changed, and I haven't used it since it's been changed. So, we could try it out on the sacrifice room with this perks pill, actually. So, you know what? We, this is what we can do. Check it out. Ready? So, we're going to pop the perks pill, which is going to give us the wafer effect. And we're going to only lose half a heart. If we don't like what happens in here, it's I do want to drop blind rage to... Make my invincibility time not that long. As we do get a you feel bless. Let's see if we get the teleport. That's the real question. We do not get the teleport. We do not get the item. Let's see if we get the soul. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and pop this. Not worth it. So, so yeah. I mean, that's one of the three uses we have on the floor. And now we're going hourglass. I actually do want to go find my item room because I don't get the benefit of a planetarium. Planetarium chance, rather, if I do not at least go check and see what's over here. So let's see. Hold on a second. I don't know. I think it is kind of a nerf, to be honest, though. In hindsight, let's see what we get. Squawkoma. No, thank you. I'd rather take my planetarium odds. There's a potential secret room here. Nope. Actually, no, there's not a room. I totally misjudged that. Oopsie daisies. Okay, either way. On we go, fellas. On we go. So, one more use on this thing. And I am going to take this for the boss fight. Make our job a little bit easier. And we'll come back for that perks pill after. 
down he goes. And we're gonna get an HP upgrade as well as perfection. Um, we're not really gonna need perfection, but anytime we see a sacrifice room, I'm telling you, with this perks pill and glowing hourglass, we'll be able to almost, we'll, we won't have any downside to risking. It removes the risk of the sac room. So basically, sac rooms just become a guaranteed chance of the teleport to the angel room. Very good stuff. We want that. We're happy with that. And because we have Voodoo Head, we should be able to build up our health very quickly. So let's see here. Gonna go ahead and blow that up. Well, that might actually get one for us. And he's gonna proc in a Thame. Fortunately, he just missed. And alrighty. Let's keep it going. Check out our curse room. And maybe this will have some goods for us. And it does have a soul heart for us. That's it. So we come out even again. Our, the big gets for us would be items. We have a 21% chance for our planetarium. Let's see what's in here. Best bud. That would be two of three. Uh, that would be two of three bezel bud. But I, you know, I'm not feeling it. I think that with glowing hourglass, we're almost guaranteed a planetarium, and we're going for guppy this run anyway. I think we have a great chance of getting guppy, and we do get another sacrifice room, so we will be able to hit this and see if we can get some good so let's let's try this now oh i met, forgot to use the perks pill Lucy daisies but at the end of the day it's not really gonna matter because we get so many hits anyway and i'm either gonna take what i get or not maybe be out half a soul heart at the worst and let's see do we get our teleport we do and we get rosary i think that's actually going to mess up our glowing hourglass but it also does not matter because we have so much health anyway. It's not gonna mean, not gonna mean anything. Okay. And I'll tell you what. We actually probably... I probably, I mean, definitely hit for the soul hearts or money. And we're gonna get the money. And I've got plenty of health still, so I'm not worried about it. So we end up getting the rosary, which is one of three seraphim. Honestly, probably was hoping for something a bit better than that. That's really not what we were hoping for. Um, so a little bummed on that. Definitely could have been better because our tiers are already maxed. But now that puts the Bible in every item pool. So, I, God, this could be one of those very rare runs where you end up with a, with a Bible in the planetarium, which would suck. So I have had that happen where I've gone into a planetarium and gotten the Bible. I was very, very upset, <laughs> you know. Because it, it really does go into every item pool. So, you know, if you uh, you didn't know that about Rosary, it puts the Bible forcibly into every item pool. So, you want to get it early so you get it out of the way. Let's see. There's Blood Puppy. Not interested. Not big on Blood Puppy, but we do get some Soul Hearts back. So, lucky for us, we get Blood Puppy out of the item pool there. So, we're not too worried about it. Let's go ahead and find our shop next. There we go. Oh, man. I don't think I want that, actually. I I, I don't want it. I, I We've got a, a pretty good shoe-in chance for a planetarium here. Uh, we've got Voodoo Head, which is going to get us a ton of potential rare curse room items very consistently. And because we have Voodoo Head, we have a much higher chance of being teleported to our Angel or Devil Deal. So... Because of that, I really don't want... I don't want to jeopardize that. Like, we're going to have plenty of good looks at good items this run. And we're almost a shoe in for Guppy as long as these You Feel Blessed don't keep giving me, you know, rosaries and stuff like that. But we do end up getting our Angel deal, unfortunately for us in this situation, because we've already gotten it. So we're going to lose some of the odds to the next floor. But, you know, that's okay. That's okay. We get a dice room, actually. Let's check out Voodoo Head numero uno. Come on, guppy items. Man, no such luck with the guppy items today. Tough. Let's see. Man. Definitely been getting sh shafted a little bit so far. I mean, no, we got guppy's collar early, but that's been about it. That's been about it. No major luck as we get dead tooth. I'm going to go ahead and say no to that. Don't need it, right? So pretty high chance for our planetarium here. This man, Nua Thame is just continuing to impress me. 
just an auto room clear, basically. We love to see it. Is there's Crooked Penny? Gonna say no to that for now. And I'm wondering if New Athame is based on our luck stat. Because if it's based on our luck stat, that is really good. And we'll be thrilled with that as we get a pill here. Man, look at it go. Definitely on the lookout for some luck ups here. Yeah, New Athame, man. Crazy. Let's get that out of the way now. I'm really hoping that we do get our planetarium here. So there we go. Okay, wow. And early of Thames, man. And they hit. They hit. Well, that actually hit me. I can't believe it. It doesn't look like any planetariums here. Thank you, Athame. Here we go, Dark Bomb. I need some payouts. Nothing yet. Maybe we'll get lucky here and our Devil Deal will spawn in. The range is still a little bit low. I won't lie. No Devil Deal, but yet another Tears and Shot Speed up, man. Our Tears are already maxed. We just need the Shot Speed. Really in the range to come through here. So here we go. Last shot for a Planetarium. 60% chance. Hopefully we'll get lucky. You get another curse room here. Oh, come on, Voodoo Head. And wow, Voodoo Head. You know, we're getting the looks, man. I'm just, I just need a little bit more of a payout here. We do get an inverse strength card. I'm not going to need it, though, on this floor because I am looking to go boss rush here. As I did miss a key, I'm going to have to go back and grab that. Here we go, a Thame doing your thing for me. Oh, there's a lot of money. Wow. Okay, so ton of money. I'm expecting a greed fight, though. Right, let's see if our secret room is going to pop up here. Nope. Oh, man, these rooms. So tedious, you know? It's just like, why? Let's come on, Dark Bum. Go ahead and grab that for him. That actually might be a payout. Nope, not yet. And oh, here we go. We'll at least get some value here. Don't really want Bozo. Book of Shadows, I'll touch once. Actually, I think I keep Book of Shadows at this point. I'm going to keep Book of Shadows. Thank you, Glowing Hourglass. It's interesting. I think that is a nerf, though, overall. Thought the secret room could have been here, so I was just going to check. Oh, well, there's two or three Bookworm. That's actually, you know what? That's a range up. I'm going to take that. We're going to keep tele telepathy for dummies. It's a two room range up and we end up finishing with meat cleaver. So no, thank you there. But telepathy for dummies is going to help us with our range. So I'm going to use it in here. And look, we get a, a 1.64 range up is, is not small plus homing. You know, so that's actually going to be pretty good for us. We're, we're pretty happy with that. With our shot speed, it's going to cover a pretty wide margin for us. This dark bomb hopefully is going to get that hard and... Tell you what, we're actually gonna use the converter once. Twice, actually. And then let's take the card. It's a tower card. We don't care for that, so let's go find our full card while we still can. Alright, well then. Where oh where is this full card? We need it. Gotta get a vault. There's a Thame, the homing effect too, also gonna make our job a lot easier. We're taking a lot of damage here though, fellas. We need to be careful. Very careful. Like we get a charge key. Potentially get the left hand here. But you do need to use that. I'll tell you what, we're gonna take the left hand. Hey man, even more red chess. There's three more. There's two of three guppy. And the converter, this trade-off for the converter, it's going to be big. We're going to end up getting a ton of health for it. So two of three guppy, man. The left hand paying out. Just going to try to use it to get over that edge. That last little bit of damage is there's our full card. I had a feeling it was going to be over here. There's a nine for us, too. And we actually do get a TP to our devil deal, which has Lamegaton in it. And I'll tell you what. 
I'm gonna take Lamegaton for Bookworm, pop it once, and we get Guppy's Hairball! I'm not gonna keep Lamegaton, though. We're gonna... That's just a touch one, touch one, and again, no Planetarium for us, so a little bit unlucky there. It happens. I forgot to get the full card that was up here. A little bum that we missed the Planetarium, but it is what it is there. Can't can't always get what you want. If we're lucky, actually, we'll miss our Devil Deal on this floor. You know, that that is some luck we're due for, so unfortunately, a big bummer there. You know, would, I, I'm kind of bummed I didn't get Guppy for having Guppy's hairball, even though it's from the Megaton. I, I, I wish it would, you know, count towards a transformation. Guess I'm not that lucky either way. We're going to pop the Lepity for Dummies. Get that nice little range up. Move around a little bit. Hopefully we get a Thame to proc in us. Yeah, actually a Thame is going to home in now as well. Because we have telepathy for dummies, and they're oh my god. Well, our range problem is now solved. We're gonna get tech one with bookworm. Oh man, man, oh man. All right then. All right then. Homing tech with fourteen damage and a thane. No way this is here, right? It is there. And there's a marked rock here, too. Nice. Okay, well. And we get one up. Nice. Okay, we're going to get an extra life. More insurance because Guppy's, you know, Guppy's uh, collar probably wouldn't work. Would not work that well after we've already used it to revive once. So hopefully we can end up getting Guppy here. And there's the Bible. And actually, I think the Bible is going to be more... No, the Bible is not more useful for me than Telepathy for Dummies. So, oopsie daisy, he's taking an extra hit there. Um, that's two or three Seraphim. So, we knew the Bible was going to pop up eventually in one of these item pools. And it ends up popping up in our curse room pool. Could have been our guppy item, so we might regret that. But, again, with the left hand, we're going to have plenty of looks. And most likely, like, Voodoo Head almost always guarantees a second curse room. There's been a couple times where it hasn't for me due to weird map generation, but there's our second one. Moment of truth. No guppy here. And what I like about Voodoo Head so much... Ooh, Bible Track, do I want that? No. What I like about Voodoo Head so much is that, you know, it's unlike the Eucharist, it's actually active through the dark room of the cathedral because curse rooms can spawn there, right? And so can sacrifice rooms. So, you know, it's it's going to be active for a vast majority of your run. It's not just, you know, through the womb and those floors. It's, there's some big value for us. Wow, get a key back. Thank you very much. And tell you what, why not? And we do get a TP to our devil deal. It's going to be a Krampus fight. Oh, man. If that was Lump of Coal, that would have been fantastic. A shame. Hopefully, we do not get our Devil Deal here. That's what we're hoping for. And a bummer that it was just Krampus. And didn't. if we had Lump of Coal, we actually would have gotten quite a bit of damage from that. I get him, too. And we do see a Marked Rock here. Not taking ahead of Krampus what we already, over what we already have. Lose Guppy's hairball. Not like it was making a difference for us anyway. And look at a Thane, man. All right, double deal. You know what to do. No, don't spawn in. All right, hopefully our double shot keeps popping. And lucky for us, no double deal there. All right, we get a pretty big speed up as well. So nice. Very likely to see our double deal here. Again, the left hand paying out for us right there. Making that chest a red chest and getting us that TP that we needed. Not bad at all. I gotta say, this uh, telepathy for dummy synergy. I mean, then it's run like these where telepathy for dummy dummies really shines. Because, you know, you don't need big utility here. Like, you've got big utility. You don't have a crazy active item. And it's like, well, I basically have homing. What a damn shame. What a damn shame our double deals are doo-doo. We do get a couple range up pills. Not that these are going to matter, really. Range up. What a bummer, though, man. Bummer double deals. Again, we do want to keep checking these red chests, though, because we're one guppy item away. And 
absolutely anything can do it here. Oh, boy. Okay, well, another teleport to our devil deal. Not that we want or need that. Man, I just want to... I just want my third guppy item, guys. Come on, voodoo head. I need you to clutch up for me here. Get an arcade, which is interesting. I haven't seen Crane Game in a while. I wonder why. Crane Game's just been MI for me. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen a Crane Game in a minute. It's been a cold streak for the Crane Game for me. Alright, Dark Bum, I need to pay out. We need to be looking for our super secret room so that we can potentially get the womb room. All those red hearts, baby. Here it is. Oh, I'll hit this. We might be able to get some good trinkets and some soul hearts here. Maybe crystal ball if we're lucky. Strength card, flatworm. We don't care about flatworm. Ooh. Uh, tier... Wait a minute. If a theme... Does a theme count as a tier charm? I'm not sure. I don't know if I like that. Let's see what else we can get. We got no need for money at this point, so... We get another soul heart. Build our health up. Lovely. We're lucky we get a dice shard. Judgment card. A dice shard would be so fantastic. I know it can give one, too. It's just a really low chance. Don't need modeling clay. Don't need vibrant bulb. Don't need a hermit card. Don't need that card. Sorry, not that card. Uh, trinket. Ooh. That gives me a key, so I might as well pick it up once. And we get a chaos card. What do you know? I definitely should have saved that for Hush. Oh, well. And bad devil deal. Tell you what, speaking of Hush, let's take Hush on here. I'm confident. This might take a minute, but I'm feeling confident. And there's Guppy, baby. Oh, Magician as well, but either way, we're way happier with, uh... Oh, bad. I'll take Rocket in a jar. We're way happier with just getting Guppy here, and there's Onk. PhD for us as well. You know what? I'll tell you what. Nah, I actually don't want to use Magic Skin. We'll take, uh... We'll take the insurance plan. Let's do it. And all right, with Tech 1, we're going to be able to sit back and Guppy to our damage. Because we're going to have all these flies. We can just outrange them, especially with the homing from Telepathy for Dummies. Look at the army of flies we got coming in here. And Bookworm, too. And Guppy, even post-nerf, is still so good. And actually, with the Thame, if he's going to be spawning in flies, we're going to have homing, like, Maw of the Void on him. A Thame literally, like, I think it's better than Maw of the Void now. Honestly. Because you don't have to worry about it. It's hands-off. So, you know, in most bosses, I, I think it should be the same quality as, qual as Maw of the Void. I would take the Thame over Maw of the Void now, to be honest. Because there's plenty of synergies that when you get so OP, like, you just don't even use your Maw of the Void, but if Thame activates on its own. If Maw of the Void was automatic, I think it would be that good. But look at this, ready? He's going to spawn these guys in, and just one of them dies. If I get lucky with that early a Thame, it'll snowball and do a ton of damage to him. And those are the easier enemies to kill. Right, like right now, there it goes. And look at all that extra damage we're going to get off on him. Fantastic item, and it maintain maintains my tier effects, so... I'm big on it. Spawn in some more of those underlings, my man. My, my flies, for whatever reason, are not, like, actually chasing him down. Maybe they're all still spawning in. Either way... Here we go. And, oh, yeah... Like, that's just easy. Maw of the Void can't... See, Maw of the Void can't snowball like that. Look at this. Ready? And there it goes. Just such a good item. Love those changes. It'll, they'll nerf it, though, probably. Or make it a qual 4. Hey, I'm all for better devil items, man. And 
There we go. Quick kills. Oh, oops. It's my hand off the keyboard for a second. Definitely slow and steady here, but... Plenty of lives in the bank. And the victory rocket to celebrate. And down we go. Okay, well then. I haven't been this happy to be guppy in a while. That extra damage is going to add up big time for us. We're going to go ahead and pop... Telepathy for dummies in the bigger room because it's going to insta-charge right back up. No need to stay in there. I'll be careful taking damage here. I'm not sure if I want the left hand anymore. Um, uh, We got a couple soul hearts there. I, I really don't have any other need for... Yeah, I don't have needs for no normal chest. We do get a pretty fly. That's all we're going to get. A little bit of a lame one there. Two chests, no payout. Hate to see it. Luckily, we still got Dark Bomb. Get a greed fight. A little, su little surprising to see this late. Almost ran into the red poop. Don't want to be doing that. And with Guppy, our cursors are now half cost, too. And lucky for us, there's all the rest of the payouts. So now, again, we don't really have a big need for... Red chest anymore, so we're going to drop the left hand. Mada, mada. We just don't need it. There's our channel member sound for the main channel where it's going off. You're wondering what the Genji sound is in the background. Mada, mada. And, uh, I'll take this for range downs. Mada, mada. Okay. All right, here we go. Telepathy for dummies on. Let's let him have it here. Oh my god, an early a Thame. Dude, tell me a Thame is bad. Tell me that's not one of the better items you've seen. It just it just one-shot Satan. Fantastic item, dude. Absolutely fantastic item. Dark Bum, don't pay out now. Pay out down here. Come on, buddy. They give us the card. We're going to get the quarter. Abaddon. Ooh, Sanguine Bond would have been good, but either way, I'm going to take Abaddon. Give me some more damage. Got Little Horn as well with tech. Not entirely sure how it's going to be procking. Either way, here we go. This will be a quick room here. And there we go. Easy one with Telepathy for Dummies. This is my alerts. I'm just going to turn them off. Sorry about that, fellas. I think a bunch of channel members just came in and renewed. So there we go. Again, it's just kind of free. As we go the completely wrong way again. Nothing new at this point. I also took Abaddon just for that extra bit of damage. That damage up is nice. And that's like a 2, what was that, like 2.5 damage up? Pretty good. Definitely going to say yes to that as our flies are going to get that excess damage onto the dark one as fast as possible. These guys need to take a big to kill. Look at how fast we just killed them, man. That's, that's how you can tell this run has been pretty elite. I think it's Guppy that's putting us over the edge in damage. Those flies, man. An extra 16 DPS or whatever it is a second. I think it's my, I think it's my flies actually multiplied by something. And the homing. Just the homing also makes it incredibly easy. I won't lie. The homing is too easy. So here we go. Big swarm of flies on us. Stars card that we don't need. I would TP out of this, but got faith in myself. And it TPs us way out. And I think maybe I go up here. Yep, there we go. Oh, man. That was quick. Yeah, it's the guppy flies that really... Stack up the damage for them. Yeah. Yeah, our guppy flies are doing so much damage. I think it's three to six times our damage. So they're doing like 60 a shot. That's why these guys are dying noticeably faster. We just cannot. I'm not even using telepathy for dummies. We're going the whole wrong way. Full clear, man. 
And a dame, dude. Shard of glass. No, thank you. Pretty lame dark room this time around. Are you sure you want to land on me, pal? Check for our secret room here. Nope. All right, well, let's finish this thing strong. Thank you guys so much for watching. This will be a quick one here with what we got going on. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the run. This was definitely a cool one. I mean, when you start out with Cricket's Head, it's always going to be a good one, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.